Well, good morning. I'm here with a wonderful group of kids from the Trail Busters Snowmobile Club um, located in southeastern South Dakota. I'm going to have each of them introduce themselves to you first, okay? So we'll start right here. Um, I'm Riley Johnson, 15. I've been riding since age three. I'm Rachel Watkins. I'm 15. I've been riding since age three. I'm Robert Watkins, age 10, and I've been riding since age three. I'm Taylor Watkins. I'm 19. I've also been riding since age three. I'm Lexi Johnson, and I'm 18, and I've also been riding since age three. So these guys are all seasoned riders at the ripe old ages of 18 and 10 and 15, so they've got a lot of experience. I wanted to ask them what they love about this sport because they've got such great experience. So I'm going to have each one just tell you what they love most about snowmobiling. The, uh, the adrenaline rush is always the best part about snowmobiling, and I always like to get that feeling. I think the family aspect, being able to be with your family and getting closer. Um, also the friends that you meet through snowmobiling and the sights that you see. I also like the scenery when we go snowmobiling. It's always wonderful. I like the social aspect, getting to meet new people and just talking with them about their experiences and promoting the sport. I love the family part of it, getting to, getting to meet new friends, the scenery, and just having an awesome time. So they talked a lot about family and friends and the scenery and having great places to ride. I, I asked them also to think about what, what gets in the way of having, having great places to ride. What are, they, what are the challenges that they see the, the sport is facing today? And here's what they have to say about that. Some of the challenges are that places are getting gated off and people are being told to stay out and some of them aren't really listening to it and just making it worse. Um, some of the challenges are that we don't have as many youth as used to ride, and um, our generation is just kind of forgetting about snowmobiling and how important it is. Um, some people aren't being as safe and, like, riding too fast and riding where they're not supposed to. Um, I think we really need to get the young people involved with the organizational snowmobiling, not just going out and doing it, but getting involved and seeing how much really goes behind um, promoting the sport and keeping the areas they love open. I think one of the biggest challenges is, is that the younger kids, like Robert's age, they don't get to go out and experience it. They don't have a club to go to. They don't have people that are backing them up to do it. So I just think that we should go back into those generations and try and get them on a snowmobile and just have them go tootle around and have some fun. So now I'm going to put these intelligent, wise snowmobilers on the spot. And I'm going to ask them, since they are kids, and since the future of the sport seems to hinge on kids getting to really love the sport and engage in the sport, what makes that more possible? What makes kids want to get involved? So can everybody come up with a suggestion on that one for us? I guess going fast is always fun on anything. <laughs> we have a speed game. Um, as uh, you build friendships with other people in snowmobiling, just encourage your friends to come with you on a trip and just to see how it is, and maybe they'll talk their family into getting a snowmobile just to ride around their house and then make it grow into the whole family does it, and then they join different groups and clubs. Um, older generation encouragement. So, like, the kids have people to, or people have been snowmobiling to back them up and tell them how fun it is and stuff. I think the older generation really, like, promoting, like, how long they've snowmobiled and, like, all these organizations they've set up and what really needs to happen to keep them going and how important partnerships are with, like, the game fishing parks and just showing that we really need them to keep snowmobiling alive. I think that they should just go to a person like me or one of these individuals and just ask them about it. Go to a club, organization, something, find out a little bit about it, 
And if you want to, I mean, everyone has an extra sled just sitting around. Ask them to go ride. So what I hear you saying is that having relationships with other people who have sleds is important, and being invited into the process is very important. How do you feel when, when the older adults invite you in and say, hey, come ride with us. Hey, come to a club meeting. Hey, come do something with us. Now, you're all smiling except you, Robert. There, there's a smile. Do, do you think it's like, yes, let's do this, or do you think, oh, that's a lot of work? Do you, do you get excited about it because you already love the sport? Um, I get excited about snowmobiling just because um, I love to do it. It's a thing that I want to teach my kids when I get older and my, like have my husband do it with me. And um, it's just something that everyone should experience at least once in their life, no matter how old they are. Because I've seen lots of different age people here at the ISC, and it just makes me feel like, oh, I want to be like them when I get older and still doing it and still being involved. <laughs> yeah, it's it's great when you're asked, like, it makes you feel a sense of pride that they value your opinion that much and see that you can be useful to the sport for them to invite you places and just want to have fun with you. And so that's really cool. I think it's just awesome that there's older people that actually see that you are involved and that you want to do more in the sport and you want to keep your generation going. So one of the things I talked about um, at, at my first presentation at Congress was some, some important words. I call them journey words. And one of those important words that I, I, I think matters in life is the word gratitude. When older people invite you in and, and you, you help out with things and the rides, when they say thank you, does that feel special to you? Does that make you say, yes, keep going with this? And then another word that I think matters in all of life is the word optimism. And optimism to me means that in snowmobiling that, yes, we're going to have a great future. But to do that, we have to create it. And that's going to someday fall on all of you because you are the next generation. So what do you most recommend that we, that you do, that be done to create a great future for this sport? Just get more people involved with it so we can have more help and people and ideas to keep it going. Um, get snowmobiling out there, put positive things on Facebook and social media, because people are constantly on their phones. Um, definitely talk to people about it from your community. Be like, hey, we have this going on. Why don't you come out and see what it's about? Um, just keep like putting it out there that snowmobiling still is alive, and we want to encourage it more in the next generation. Yeah, kind of like what Rachel said, keep inspiring people to snowmobile. Yeah, snowmobiling is definitely a great sport, and just showing all the good things that snowmobilers do besides riding. I mean, how, ma how much we impact our communities and the charity events we hold, and just partnering with all those people and showcasing that to people is very important. I think it's very, very important that you get a newspaper from SDSA and put it in your school library, the public library, have the students look at it and just tell them there's a meetings on Saturday, why don't you come and see what it's about and then see if they'll help you with trail signs or something simple. I mean, it's easy. Well, I think you've heard some amazing ideas from some amazing kids from, of course, this amazing place called South Dakota. Um, thank, thank you, each of you, for, for your time and for sharing your ideas. And then my last question for you is, some of the people that will be hearing this Saturday aren't the ones who are really good on Facebook, aren't the ones who are really good with some of this. Are you willing to do more? Would you be willing to help with Facebook and, and teach other people how to do some of those fun things? So there you have, you have workers who are willing to say, let us let us help with the social media stuff because it is essential in today's communication. So thank you, each and every one of you, so much. I appreciate it.